All right, my friends, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we'd take a look at the Panzer IV Aus C. Now, the Panzer IV was a German medium tank developed in the late 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. It was the brainchild of German General Heinz Guderian. On January 11, 1934, the German army wrote the specifications for a medium tractor and issued them to a number of defense companies. This medium tractor or tank was to support the Panzer III, which was armed with a 37mm anti-tank gun. The new vehicle would have a short-barreled 75mm howitzer as its main gun and was allotted a weight limit of 24 tons. In concept, it was intended to be a support tank for use against enemy anti-tank guns and fortifications. Ideally, each tank battalion in a Panzer division was to have three medium companies of Panzer III's and one heavy company of Panzer IVs. The prototype had a crew of five men. The hull contained the engine in the rear, with the driver and the radio operator, who doubled as the hull machine gunner, seated at the front. In the turret, the tank commander sat beneath his roof hatch, while the gunner was situated to the left of the gun and the loader to the right. Designed as an infantry support tank, the Panzer IV was not intended to engage enemy armor. That role was originally allocated to the Panzer III. However, with the limitations of the Panzer III's design, most notably the size of the turret ring, which limited the ability to upgrade the main gun, and in the face of the Soviet T-34 tanks, the Panzer IV soon assumed the role of its increasingly vulnerable cousin the most widely manufactured and deployed German tank of the Second World War, the Panzer IV was used as the base for many other fighting vehicles, including the Sturmgeschultz assault gun, Jag Panzer IV tank destroyer, and Verbalwind self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, for examples. Once accepted into service, production began in 1936. The first mass-produced version of the Panzer IV was the A model in 1936. It mounted the L24 KWK-37 L24 75mm tank gun, which was a low-velocity gun mainly designed to fire high-explosive shells. After manufacturing 35 tanks of the A version, in 1937 production moved to the B model. Improvements included a more powerful engine and transmission. Despite a weight increase, the tank's speed increased to 39 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. The glacis plate was augmented to a maximum thickness of 30 millimeters and the hull mounted machine gun was replaced by a covered pistol port. 42 Panzer IV Bs were manufactured before the introduction of the Aus C in 1938. This saw the tank's turret armor increase to 30 millimeters, which brought the tank's weight to 18.14 tons. After assembling the first 40 C models, the engine was improved again, and the last of the 140 C models were produced in August of 1939 when production changed to the D model. The robust and reliable Panzer IV saw service in all combat theaters in which Germany was involved and was notable for being the only German tank to remain in continuous production and combat throughout the war, with over 8,800 produced between 1936 and 1945. Upgrades and design modifications intended to counter new threats extended the Panzer IV's service life. Generally, these upgrades involved increasing its armor protection or upgrading its weapons. However, during the last months of the war, 
with Germany's pressing need for rapid replacement of losses. Design changes also included simplifying the manufacturing process to speed up production. Additional Panzer IV models included the D, E, F, F2, G, H, and J models. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the Panzer IV-C is located in the German Tech Tree. It is a rank 1 medium tank with a battle rating of 1.3. has a 572 horsepower engine propelling the 19.2 ton vehicle to a top speed of 24.5 miles per hour. It comes equipped with a 75mm KWK 37 cannon with a max ammo load of 80 rounds. Now for this game, I have it assigned to my secondary crew, which is an expert crew with a crew level of 98, which gives me a reload of 3.5 seconds. So what do I think of the Panzer IV C here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, I'll make this simple. At a battle rating of 1.3, the Panzer IV C is one of the best vehicles you can play in this game. That being said, why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do with it. Here we go. All right, we picked up Sweden. Not very happy about that. I don't think the 234-3 will be as effective on this map. So I'm going to go with the Panzer IV C. I only have a 98 crew instead of 150, but we should be all right. I just think with the turret and the armor, you know, We'll have better luck in the Panzer IV C than we will in the 234. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're going to head over here. We only have the one cap point. Going to head over here to the main road that's a little west of the cap point and see if we can you know, get some shots on people. Crossing that and going to the cap. Hide behind this little hill over here. First, I'm going to knock down some of these barriers so that if I need to back out, they won't be in my way. Let's see. Oh. That was a bad shot. Quick reload on this thing. Switch targets. Got him. And got him. I go over here somewhere. Okay. Mark three over there. Drop some arty. Oh, they got behind a building. Let's see. There's the AMD again. AMD 35. Ooh, he got no armor. He's behind the hull. I can't get a bead on him. I can't really even see. Oh, there. I saw him for a second. There he is. And he moved. Come on back. Come on back again. Nope. Dang it. I just nicked him. Oh, we got him that time. Alright. Bomb and run coming. Already there and there. Right, we got two bombs. Let's 
see. Trying to look for a cluster of tanks, but I really don't see one. Let's go right here. And maybe here. Alright, let's get out. There's one. Oh, this is right here. This will do him. We got some guys coming around the back side over here, so I'm gonna come over here and see if I can hold them off. The AMD 35 is about to run into a world of hurt up there. I may be able to help him, I don't know. Didn't want to stay out in the open. Got him. Got him. T5. Got him. MD35 is still alive. That is amazing. Amazing that he's still alive. To the center. Here we go. Decapitated. All right, we got one more. Yeah, it looks like he's coming. I'm going to change my path a little bit. So we're going to have a couple of guys coming. Already here. Already here. Somebody's coming, somebody's coming. Got some crew. Who I got left? Some guy back here. Yeah. Drop some more party. Maybe venturing a little too close to the spawn, but I'm gonna risk it. Oh, the LBT. That was a bad shot. Too bad. 
much better than I think the 234 would have done. First place in the team. All right. We got a new decal. We got first strike, ground force rescuer, avenger, double strike, triple strike, shadow strike streak, one shot, tank rescuer, professional, survivor, heavy metal hero, and the best squad. We had 12 kills. Still not running a premium account. So, yeah, 90% battle activity. All right, we picked up Corellia. We are on the northwest side of the map. There's only one cap point. And I think I want to go down around. Um, on the G line, maybe F G line. It's one of those new vehicles. I just don't think I'm going to do the battle pass to get it. And since I'm deactivated from the partnership program, I cannot request vehicles anymore. I'd like to give that one a try, though. But anyway, looks like we've got a lot of people with the same idea as me. But I'm going to try to cut through here and see if I can beat some of those guys going around that back side. LBT 440 seems to be fairly quick. Exactly sure where he's going. If I can get on this side of him. And where this guy came from. I have no idea. Ooh, people already getting engaged here. Hopefully I can make it through here. We're behind some cover. Now let's see what we can do. Let's see. Alright. That'll do. That'll do. Hands are four. Somewhere in there. Oh, that was lucky. So lucky. Seven T28. Nope, couldn't get him. Oh, T26. Got him. Oh, Panzer three. Oh, he hit a rock. Some damage. Got him. There's that T28 again. Oh, let's go over the T28. He's more dangerous. And two. And two hit me. Let's, see. let's go for heat. Let's go for heat. Got a pin on him, but didn't get the kill. I'm 
make a run for it. Uh, looks like my own arty. I have to traverse my own arty here. Somebody making a break right through here. 55. Let's see. Wait till he levels out and got him. Got another arty strike. Let's put it up there. here but I'm not sure right here oh and an SU 122 uh, still released the smoke that I tried to release before I went on the air battle it's not helpful now Looks like we might have somebody coming down this road. Change the heat. Oh, cool. Did nothing to him. That's such so cool. Somebody else coming. I think that just went right through him. SU-122 up there. Try to kill him with party in there. They can be tough to kill. got me to miss. There we go. There we go. That's one thing about the Panzer IV, you can always switch to those heat rounds for the tougher targets. Some vehicles can really struggle with the SU-122. didn't do anything to him, switching the heat. Got a P-51 
in on this turret. Backing off. Let's see what we did. All right, we came in first place on the team. Awards, adamant, double strike, triple strike, assist, one shot, tank rescuer, avenger, professional, shadow strike streak. Does not matter. Survivor, heavy metal hero, on hand. Nice. 12 ground targets destroyed. Ninety-four percent battle activity. That's good enough for government work. So the Panzer IV oust C. In my opinion, this is one of the better vehicles here at low tier. Um, you have pretty good maneuverability. You have a really good rate of fire, a good AP round. And when you run into those tougher targets, you have the heat round. You're probably going to want to use those heat rounds on your B1 BIS, B1 tier, uh, probably your Swedish tanks, things of that nature but that AP round should take care of most everything else. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute and interrupt your regular programming for a little channel update. I do have a pretty serious surgery scheduled for the middle of next month. I'm not sure how it's going to affect the channel. If everything goes okay, I will have about six weeks of really intensive um, recovery and probably about a year or so before everything gets back to normal so just uh, be patient if you've liked this look at the Panzer IV hit that like button if you didn't don't subscribe if you would but as always thanks for watching I really appreciate it nerd out